We have the story about, you, you probably have seen it. These two, it's like two or three cops. They're standing here. This old guy walks up. They, they, they like push him. The guy stumbles backwards, falls, hits his head, bleeds from his ear, and he's in serious condition. And this led to a huge outcry. Now, I personally don't like the video, and I complained about it. That's not nice. Because I think whatever your argument is, we can't have, like, look, all these cops, whatever they're doing, you've got to be able to, in the moment, say, this guy is an old guy who's, whether he's angry or not, and you've got to be able to uh, adapt. If an old man comes up to you and he's going, oh, you're, you're, like, imagine if Joe Biden walked up to you and was all belligerent. Oh, I would push him immediately. <laughs> oh. just, no hesitation. No, I didn't all, say huh? he was sniffing your sister. Oh, okay. Oh. Just all right. walks up yeah. to you. You sit down. I would expect him, he would probably see my long hair. You can't see my long hair right now, but I'd be like, whoa, 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 Biden, back off. He'd come up behind you and, and not realize try. you're a dude. He'd start <laughs> brushing my hair. He does uh. that. He like brushes <laughs> the hair. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, the point is, if an old man walks up to you, I, I understand there's there's difficult circumstances, but when you look around here, I, I, look, man, I've been in these situations with cops. Mm -hmm. I do not believe any of this is necessary, but I got I to gotta admit, it does look like it was an accident, but it's be, I think it's rooted in them not really, not being trained properly and not thinking as individuals. I really do feel that way. Yep. And, I, and the reason I say that is not to be disrespectful. It's to, when this guy falls over and he's bleeding, one of the guys actually stops, like like he looks like he's going to help him, and the other cop like pushes him on the back, like, no, go forward. Yeah, I saw Ignore that. Ignore him. And then he calls it in. Mm -hmm. And so I think they realize, like, oh, man, this guy fell. Like, what do I do? And they're like, no, 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 ignore him. Like, we'll take care of it. And that's all you can do. It shouldn't have happened in the first place. Did True. You can't, you, I think we can't have policing that, that treats every single situation as though it's going to be rioters. Yeah. Because then you actually make riots. But that's yeah. how they're trained, isn't it? Like, aren't they trained to to be able to handle the worst of the worst situations and always expect that that could happen? I don't because know. Because the truth of the matter is, though, that is a, that that could happen. Right. Like they could a situation can turn seemingly normal to someone shooting at them, you know, right that quickly, you know. So, man, it, it's a tough situation. You know, man, I've been in situations like this. I've been surrounded by Antifa. You got to keep your cool. Yeah. So I think one of the challenges, not so much the training, but the directives they have. Like, you can't do this. You have to do this. Hmm. And so that creates... Give me a specific example. What do you mean? So, like, stay in formation. Don't break ranks no matter what. Okay. So when they when the guy falls over and the one cop, like, you know, kind of reaches down, mm -hmm. and then the other cop's like, no, 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 no. He, like... It, it looks like he, like, pushes him on the back, like, to keep going. Yeah. So well, it looked like the cop wanted to check if he was all right. Yeah, right. seriously. I was like... Oh, so you let him a spark of humanity. Yeah, no. He wanted to see if he was OK. But the guy behind him. Nope. We're we would be Did liable you, or like what What was going through his head there? You know, the, I think there's, there's, there's something I refer to as a scaling problem. OK. And and I'll, I know many of you who listen to my videos, you probably already have, have, have heard me say it. But it, I think I'm going to repeat it for anybody who doesn't know it. If a, a Apple gives out 100 iPhones and one percent break. Right. Then everyone's like, well, what, I don't know. It's one phone. Who cares? If they give it out, if they give out 100 million phones and 1% break, now you've got a million stories popping up. Yeah. Right. So I think that's what's happening with a lot of big city police departments. Yeah. For the most part, you have normal encounters, but you have a margin of error. I do think the margin of failure for police increases as the communities become more disparate and, and, and fractured. Well, and when you when you think about how people are finding about, to, to add your um, example, like the people finding out about these broken iPhones... Who's telling everybody about these broken iPhones? Yeah, uh, so Samsung. In, right. So in yeah. <laughs> funny. <Right. laughs> but in the inverse, though, we got the mainstream media controlling what people are seeing. Right. right. So they're amplifying it. And any little tiny thing that they you can know get what? to you know, spark the fire that's already blazing hot right now. You know what really yeah. bothers me? What? I was I can't remember which city I was in, but there was a big group of older black people chanting All Lives Matter. Okay. And I live streamed it. The media, you can't find it, man. I searched for it. I'm like, where can I find this? It was Cincinnati. I couldn't find it. Wow. Pretty sure it was Cincinnati, and it was older black people chanting All Lives Matter. And then I started to think, like, I, you know, what we're seeing with this identitarian, uh, uh, identitarianism stuff isn't about race. It's about age. Hmm. Huh. Young people are intersectionalist, racialists, ethnicists, whatever you want to call them, left as identitarian, and the older crowd isn't. Yeah. That's why... You know, in my experience, the older crowd hasn't been with a dash of uh, entitlement. Yeah. In the mix, the younger people for the younger generations. Oh yeah, yeah. man! Heaven forbid they ever well, use their hands because we're we're so spoiled. Like I'm, I admit it fully. I'm spoiled. I, I, man, I 
I can go to, I'm a vegan. I can go to the store and get meat that is vegan, made from plants. It's amazing. Like what a time we're at, you know? So at running water, clean water, even simple, being able to flush the toilet and let my, my poop get carried away. Like that's incredible. What a time we're in right now. We, yeah. we don't think about the fact that we didn't normally have these kind of things for what 99.99 percent of the human civilization did on I, this did, planet did i tell you the occupy farm story what oh yeah uh, i think you did but go activists ahead activists were granted farmland and it was like a couple acres and they were like come up state and here's some farmland for the activists and a bunch of people did yeah they wanted to get off the grid and go green and just live sustainably how long do you think they lasted Three a days. day two weeks two weeks oh, that's pretty longer good. than i would yeah, have expected wow. I'm i was talking to my I, talking I, to my friend yeah go and i was like why only two weeks? Yeah. And she told me, she's like, because you wake up at 6 a.m. and go to bed at midnight. Yeah, you have to work all day. And you work day. all day until what, bed. Yep. And farming, I was like, farming yeah. land. I was like, yeah, that, and? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you talking, so? Yeah. I do that now. Right. She was like, mm, I wanted to just chill in my apartment and like read and stuff. I'm like, oh, oh. oh so you, you like the comforts. Yeah. Well, so let's, huh. let's read about why these huh. officers are resigning. Yeah. They say 57 officers have resigned from their positions on a Buffalo police squad in support of two colleagues who were suspended after they were filmed shoving a 75-year-old peace activist to the ground, causing him to crack open his head. The two officers were suspended without pay and are now under criminal investigation after footage showed them knocking Martin Gugino to the ground and leaving him with critical injuries in front of Buffalo City Hall in upstate New York on Thursday night. The Buffalo Police Benevolent Association told the Investigative Post, that all members of the department, em, department's emergency response team have since resigned. Good. I'm happy about it. I am so happy about it. You know why? No, tell me. Give the people what they want, man. This is what I can't, you know, I get it when it comes to New York City and the, the, and the police are between a rock and a hard place where if they actually stop the looters and there's police brutality videos and if they don't and the residents complain. I'll tell you what, man. If the residents of these cities want you out, but they're unwilling to actually stand up and call for it to support you, then stop. I'll tell you what you see right now. You see a bunch of activists showing up in, in your town saying, abolish the police. And then all the residents are minding their own business saying, oh, well, okay, then here's the vote. You've got 17, destroy the, you know, abolish the police and, you know, 463,000, no vote, abstained. Hmm. Guess who wins? So if the police aren't getting the support they need, then the smartest thing they can do, in my opinion, is resign. If the residents don't want to stand up for the cops because the cops are bad, well, then there you go. The cops can resign. And if the That's their mainstream choice. media is, is shoving it down everyone's throat that all cops are bad, now I mean, we see cops are getting attacked. Yeah, cops. It are, doesn't matter what race you are. Yeah. Oh, man, that video is brutal. I don't, think I, can, I don't think I can play it. No? I can play a little bit, maybe. But I think that it, because they use racial slurs. Oh, okay. You can leave the sound off. So I'll, I mean, it's, you, you look, don't even all, need to. You can see it. All this is, you can really, you can, you can, uh, it, you can tell obviously what's happening. You got a black cop. He even looks like he's a little older, and they, they actually start attacking him. Yep. What wow. do you? What, so what do you call it when a group of angry white people attack a black man? Uh, I know. What? what it's called a, a lynching. <laughs> I guess that's when they I kill them, say though. It, but so. yeah, that's, it's like a. That's a step further. And it's racially targeted. No, they're. I mean, they're. They're. It's. It's racist. Yeah, it Boom. really is. I mean, it's like. Is it? There are they just saying it because he's a cop, or, you know, it. It's like they're out marching for Black Lives Matter, and then you start attacking a black cop. Like that doesn't because, really make sense. Because yeah, that phrase it. doesn't mean anything to them. Yep. It's a mindless mantra. Exactly. They don't actually care. This is what I. I, I tell my friends, man. I'm like, you got to realize these people who are going out don't care about this. And that's why I don't like them. Hmm. Because when they say to me things like, we're fighting for people of color, I say, oh, okay, let me tell you about my experience. And they go, well, you're white. You're, um, not, you're not color enough no, for, no, no. for my, us. The, the scale, the, 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 my color is dependent upon how much I agree with them. Right. I know. That's why I'm like, you Sliding don't really scale. care about what I think. Hmm. You don't care about helping me or my family or anything like that. You're just lying because you know, it's, it's really, really simple, man. This country is like 70, 72% wider, some, you know, some large number. Okay. And so they, they're not trying to win over the non-white demographic. They're trying to win over the white demographic. It's, it's, it's listen, when you're a company, you have, you have two choices, right? I'm, you, I'm, I just bear with me. Okay. You can make asparagus flavored ice cream or oh. chocolate flavored ice cream. Huh. Okay. Now, how many people do you think like asparagus flavored ice cream? Zero. 
Maybe gonna, 0. 0.0001 maybe, right? Per, are we talking percents? Yeah. Sure. How many people like chocolate ice cream? I'm pretty much 60, 65% of the population. I'd say it's 90. A huge majority. Oh, yeah. there's, there's people who like vanilla over chocolate. I'm not. I didn't say that. No, 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 no. I didn't but, say they, they didn't like vanilla. I'm saying just that they, that they like chocolate. Oh. I'm yeah, not saying it'd sure. be. Most All right, people. I'll increase. I'll increase. Yeah. So I was thinking gonna, it gonna, as their favorite. Listen, yeah. If you you're going to start a company that sells ice cream, are yeah. you going to choose to make asparagus flavored ice cream? No, that's stupid. You're going to make whatever panders to the biggest crowd. So. When you see these yeah, people, yeah, see that's that. why all of these people out protesting for Black Lives Matter are white. Hmm. They're chanting to convince white people they're noble. They want the white leftists to feel good about themselves. Meanwhile, what did you see? How many videos of minorities have we seen complaining about this? Many. How many rappers, so like high-profile rappers, have been like, dude, what are you doing destroying our business? Oh, yeah. And then the white liberals and media go, you don't understand. They're just traumatized. And he's like, what? I live here. They burned down my store. And yep. they're like, mm, you don't get it because you're a bigot. I'm seeing all of these videos all day long. All it is is just these these members of their community going, what are you guys doing? This is ridiculous. This is them trying to control all of you. Each video I'm watching is like, that's the, wow. You know, you that's know what, some powerful truth right there. You know, I see, they clearly don't care about the movement. The, the peaceful protesters are all black holding up signs, protesting peacefully. It's like legit. And then there are looters. And then there's looters that have probably nothing to have, do with it. They don't care about that at exactly. all. Exactly. Right. And they're there are all sorts of. I've seen all races loot, loot people looting. Yep. Here's the problem. They, they, Here's the problem, man. They don't care. The ideological looting mm -hmm. and, and attacks are like the white antifa. But then a lot of the looting videos you see are black people doing it. Okay. I'm not saying that it's it's more of one or the other. I'm not saying that. I'm saying those are the videos going around. Yeah. I was talking to my friend about this, and I said. She, my, uh, my friend was telling me that she knows like overt racists down south that are sharing all these videos saying, see, 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 it proves it. And I'm like, this is a big problem that these white leftists support this because it's fuel for racism. Yeah, seriously. If you only show, you know, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what, what the actual makeup is of for these videos and the race or anything like that. Okay. All I know is a lot of the videos that are going around show one race doing it. And then you'll see racists being like, see? And I'm like, man, there's so much more than that. And that's, that's, that's what I can't stand about these people because when we, were, when we were talking about this in the very beginning about privilege, yeah, it's, it's, they think if you're born with no, with, with no privilege, it's harder for you to succeed. And if you have privilege, it's easier to, su to succeed. That way you must that's why you must check your privilege. It's like, okay, so it's a class argument. Yeah, exactly. Like Will Smith's kids grew up way more advantaged than both of us. Probably. You know, it's funny. Alexis Ohanian. Do you know who he is? No. Co-founder of Reddit. Okay. He just resigned from the board, right? He, oh, right. he resigned. Yeah, I yeah. heard about this. He did. And he said he, he wants his position to be filled by a black person. Okay. And he's going to give all future gain, uh, uh, gains from his, I guess, stock or whatever to invest in the black community and stuff like that. Okay. He's married to Serena. I think he's married yeah, to Serena Williams. Mm -hmm. And he has a daughter with her. And it's like, bro. You, you, so he he doesn't need wife. any of that. He's already achieved it, and it's like sure, whatever. What, yeah. what what is your wife worth in terms of millions of dollars? <gasps> She's not oppressed, dude. Like, I understand there are some things that can be op oppressive. Yeah. But on the whole, man, your family has so much power. Now, Alexis is a really he's a really nice guy. Okay. I'm not trying to disrespect him. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I know him, and he's always been super super cool. He's very very diplomatic, and he's a he's a really nice guy. So, and I got respect from trying to do to to do good. Mm -hmm. I just think. First of all, if that's what he wants to do, I got no beef. Go ahead and do it. I just think that's a misguided attempt. It, it, look, if you're going to help anybody, that's cool. I don't care who he gives the money to to help teach, learn, educational centers. Yeah. I just see this as, you know, someone who has grown up in on the south side to a mixed family. The, I've seen white people suffer with no privilege, thrown in the gutter, arrested falsely, all these things. Yep. It's just about, look, if you think that... My marginalized communities, black people, brown people, Hispanic, Asian, whatever, are, are, are worse off to start because of wealth, then if you approach this from a class angle, then you deal with it all. And you don't got to worry about singling anybody out due to race. Yep. Hey, you want to know what I just found out? Which it's really it? interesting. So Serena Williams is worth $200 million. Whoa. You want to know how much Spicy. Alexis Ohanian is worth? What? 70. <laughs> $70 million. She's, She's worth, worth 70 more million? than twice what her husband is worth and he's giving all a bunch so of they're, so they're married so that's 270 yeah. mil together so hold on right. man hold on so 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 far this they have successfully smashed the white 
heteronormative. No, it's just the white patriarchy. Right. And the glass ceiling for her. Yeah. Just the white patriarchy. Yeah. So there's still the cis heteronormative aspect they haven't been able to deal with. Right, right. They did have a kid. Right. Alexis, he has, he's going oh. he's, he's yeah. to have to go gender neutral or something. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't. I, I mean, I don't mean to dis disrespect uh, either of them because I think Serena's actually super cool. She's an amazing athlete. I think uh, Alexis is, is is a really yeah, good she's, dude. She's, she's I've, a boss. It's, it's, it's weird. I, I've bumped into Alexis in like really weird situations, like okay. randomly at the airport one day. That's funny. <laughs> okay. And I'm like Alexis, and he's like, "Oh, hey man, how you doing?" He's a he's a really good dude. Mm -hmm. And this, I see what he's doing, and uh, I I want to I want to make sure this is very clear. What he's doing is cool. You know, he, he's not ragging on anybody. He's not coming down on anybody. That's what I don't like. He's literally saying, I'm going to give up some of what I have to try and help others. Right. That's right on. That's great. My only thing is, I wish people were more focused on class issues. Agreed. 100% agreed. Yeah. Because if, like, like I was just saying, if you think it is mostly about race, mm -hmm. then you'll still end up mostly helping that race by your own logic. You can just avoid the all lives matter, black lives matter argument outright. Yeah. And bring people together by saying, we're going to help everybody who's poor. Right. And, and guess what? You can even say we're going to help everybody who's poor on the south side of Chicago. And then guess what? You end up wrapping up Latinos. You get, you get black people involved. Mm -hmm. And you're helping creating an education center that can bring everyone together. Yeah. Not only that, what I think we really need to, especially in Chicago, because we talked about this the other day, would be like some kind of community center bridging these, these racial uh, lines where they separate different communities. Awesome. Sounds great. Yeah, because then you'll have people of all races hanging out. Yeah, it's like playing card cool. games, skateboarding. Everything. Yeah. It always happens. It's like whenever, uh, you know, the the guy who who went to all these different uh, white nationalists and was talking to them and converting them. Daryl. Daryl Davis. Daryl yeah. Davis. Awesome dude. But what, what he was doing was proving to them that we're all the same. Oh, right. you like the same thing as me? We and like then cars. Yeah. All of a sudden something clicked. It's like, oh, wow. I didn't even think that you could be the same as me. Yeah. I, I refuse to, to let all this things all these things that are, are going on today create that divide. And that's what's happening. It's like someone out there wants us to be divided and we need to just stop that. We gotta realize we're all Dude. we're all in this together. Or there's an asteroid right now that's flying towards Earth. <laughs> I'm I'm not joking. I know. It's it's it, if it hits us, we could all just die. That could happen. Boom. And we wouldn't be able to stop it. Yeah. Or we could just come together. I mean, yeah, obviously, it's not going to hit us. It's actually going to be like uh, 60 million miles don't, away. Don't, 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 don't. Come on, man. We're trying to be optimistic here. We don't. don't no, no, it's don't. not. It's not going to hit us. That's I know, what I'm saying. I know. I know. I, I know. Yeah, yeah. Don't say, don't, don't. You're taking away people's hope right now. <laughs> somebody tweeted. Hey, now. Somebody tweeted the story of the meteor headed yeah. to Earth and they were like, thank you. No. Or, or like, yeah, finally. Terrible. Come on. <laughs> finally. It's the waiting I can't stand. Right. Seriously. No, not, I, I love everybody. We gotta, we gotta realize we're all in this together. You know what? You know when I was all little, of us. when I was little, I used to hang out with. Uh, we had, you know, there was a Mexican kid, there was a Filipino kid, and I was thinking about about this when I was growing up, some mm -hmm. bunch of white people, and I was just like, whenever I would hear about racism and stuff, I okay. thought to myself, I really think proximity is going to end all this, because a lot of the racism stuff you hear comes from isolated communities. People who have never met a person of a certain race can only imagine based on stereotypes they've seen in TV or movies or whatever. Yeah. Mm. And so I was really excited. I was like, I think when we're when, like the more we spend time together and over time, it'll heal these wounds. And then when we're older, you know, like in, in a few generations, we're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, that's John from down the street. And it might be an Asian person or a black person. And that's when, when Occupy Wall Street happened. They were intent on segregating everybody. They, they really did this. Yep. During Occupy Wall Street, they created racial groups and made sure everybody stayed in their group and they wouldn't allow people to cross over. That's it, Yeah. So if you wanted okay. to vote for resources, mm -hmm. you had racial blocks. Yeah. So like all the black people were part of a caucus, all the white people. Oh, no, there was no white people caucus. You weren't allowed to. The, Asia, the Asians, the Latino, the women's. It was only for marginalized groups. And so what do you think happens then when you have only people based on race separate from each other? fighting for resources it cr creates a divide talk it about it creates segregation it's like we got to realize that it's a class issue all of society needs to be revamped so that everyone can benefit and that's not the way it is you know you know it is a class issue but you know what else it is hmm. it's uh i don't know what causes it but young people are really unworldly right okay they don't like we were, we were just talking about this. they don't understand the value of hard work that's true you're right. And they, they like they, they're you know, spoiled. Look, 
we're entitled. What, what were we saying earlier? Like we were, we, we, were, we were cooking earlier. John D. Rockefeller would look upon the homeless of America today with envy. Yeah. This hmm. guy, 100 years ago, richest guy in the world, oil yeah. baron. Yeah. Laughing with his monocle. I control the world's energy. And he, then he would look into the future and see a homeless guy walk into a McDonald's with air conditioning. Air conditioning. With clean, clean. Clean, clean running water. Mm -hmm. He'd walk into an urgent clinic and give two bucks for an antibiotic. And he'd be like, wow. <sighs> Not only that, he'd see the homeless guy and be like, this homeless man has no polio. And they'd be like, yeah, no one does. It's cured. He'd be like, what? Wow. Harumph. <laughs> wow. <Indeed. laughs> no, he'd be shy. He'd be, he'd, 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 it would be envy. Yeah. Like, wow. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune in to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify, and we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.